The journey is not going to be perfect. And this is something all of us have to face. One of the things I've learned throughout this journey is that we need to have something that helps us get back up again. And that is the Word of God. Hi, I'm Ida Mendoza and this is my HB 252 story. Hi, my name is Eden. I've been homeschooled for 11 years now, so that's pretty much all my life. I'm currently High Unit's Chief Marketing Officer, as well as the President of Earth Club. What I'm very thankful for is that they chose to really invest time in my life. And by doing this, by actually being involved in my life, it really shows that they care. And this means a lot to high schoolers nowadays that someone really cares for you and that they show it. And that's one of the ways my parents have showed their love for me, by choosing to invest in my life, by homeschooling me. I think one of the biggest advantages homeschoolers have in responding to their surroundings is the ability to adapt. Because of homeschooling, the freedom that you have creates this joy that you find in learning. There is the simple joy in learning topics, not because they're a chore, but it's something we desire because it's fun. I would say that in homeschooling, one of the biggest wins for me, and I think many people say this, but it's really quality time. It's not just you have a lot of time, but because you're with your family, there is a lot of time that's not just plentiful, but meaningful. And because of homeschooling, throughout my formative years, I was able to really develop strong convictions as a homeschooler. And because of that, it shaped my identity as a high schooler moving forward. I joined High Unite years back because I wanted to grow as a leader. Throughout these past years, I've learned several experiences of what it means to be a leader through me stretching my abilities and going through difficult circumstances, which ultimately built me up to be the man I am today. I love looking at how leadership traits affect me personally as with my individual personality. And one of the two biggest learnings I've seen so far are one, the need of consistency and faithfulness as a leader. Practicing the habit of being consistent with setting goals for myself, setting reminders for myself, helped me really grow as a leader. And the second thing was humility. Letting this hit me that there's so many ways for me to grow was a very deep learning as a leader because those who never stop growing and continually thrive and become more and more like Jesus, the person who was emblematic of what it was to be perfect. Perfection is striving to continually grow and become more like Him. If I was at home school, I can honestly say that I wouldn't have the same relationship with God that I have today. I wouldn't have the same relationship with my family that I have today. I really think it's so important for children in their early years to be surrounded with whatever is true, whatever is right, whatever is noble, whatever is praiseworthy, all these things. And that's the environment you get in homeschool. So if I were not homeschooled, I would not have the same love for my family and the same relationship with Christ that I have today.
Thinking about it, serving really is not just about yourself. It's about thinking about others, about going out there and breaking your own comfort zone boundaries because that's how we really learn to serve. When we learn to do the dirty work and really start helping people, that's when we bring God's kingdom here on earth, when we start being a servant of all. The journey is not gonna be perfect. And this is something all of us have to face. There are days when we're so busy that we're not able to get all of our homework done. There are days when, because of our own mistakes, we procrastinate and end up having so much work. And one of the things I've learned throughout this journey is that we need to have something that helps us get back up again. And that is the Word of God. If you're feeling down, if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling off course, the Word of God is what picks me back up and it can pick you back up too. Because there is really a promise in there for everyone and a path for everyone through God's Word. And even though you may not know the complete path in front of you, in the Bible it says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. 